Hi, this is Anne with an anagram on how to uh, run and manage separate JavaScript files inside the same naked JavaScript um, REPL. So in this week's exercise, you have a total of four tasks, but it turns out that, that there is um, there's a considerable amount of code to write. And, um, and there are certain tasks, okay, so for example, this, um, this pair of tasks is very closely related. And for that reason, it actually will make your life simple to create one REPL, implement the code for task one, and then without having to have a completely separate REPL, simply implement the code for task two. And if you need to go back and forth or borrow code or consult code or whatever, you can stay inside that same REPL. Um, by the same token, this task three, you are reading code from a, from a whole set of Python REPLs, but your life is gonna be easier if you create one REPL for your work and then simply write and be able to run separate REPLs for each of those tasks. And I think for the bubble report, there are either two or three um, versions of the code. And so you just want one REPL, not have to fork it, not have to manage the naming for it, simply have one REPL with multiple um, JavaScript files in it. And that, um, how to do that's not obvious, um, but it's not that hard either. So essentially this week, what you're gonna do is create three REPLs, but have lots of different code that you're running. So let me, um, I think we're done with our tools here. So let me take a look at this. Um, Get rid of those funny boxes. There we go. There's a reason I don't use those tools very often. Okay, so um, just to be just to be clear, what you have been doing um, is taking a JavaScript REPL, a Node.js REPL, and when you hit the run button, the code runs. And if you work in this environment using the run button, you're limited to having your code in a file that, that is named index.js. But what we wanna be able to do is have several JavaScript files here and be able to run each one of them separately. So I'm gonna give you a code that looks like this. Um, basically, I'll let you fork a REPL, I think, that has this code in it and work from that because um, I find it easy to keep hitting the run button and forget what I'm supposed to do. So um, basically this code has the index.js file that has some instructions in it and two sample files that each have some console logging. And the only point here is to use this to get started so that you know you are running the code you want to run from the command line. One thing that we don't talk about much, and I'm going to hit the run button here. When I hit the run button here, this code executes and shows up over here in what I've been calling the console, which it is a console. Um, but one thing we don't talk about much, haven't really talked about at all so far, is that each of these REPLs represents a virtual machine, virtual Linux machine up in the cloud. And so each REPL is like owning a tiny little dedicated um, Linux machine of your very own. And in order to run separate files, you have to work at the Linux command line. And um, that may sound a little bit frightening. Um, a lot of people will have a Mac or a Windows machine and basically never have worked at the command line there. And I'm asking you to go to a Linux machine, which is a different operating system than most of you have used and start working the command line there. But um, there isn't very much to learn. There are only a few commands you need and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do them. And if you need a hint, okay, the um, text that runs when you hit the run button reminds you of what it is you have to do. Okay, so when you hit the green run button, the only code you run is this code in index.js. So we didn't see any output from either sample one or sample two when we hit the run button. Okay, to run the code in the other files, you have to open a virtual machine console. Okay, to do that, 
And I have to show this because if I just try to tell it, it's going to get too confusing. To do that, I have to click. I have to have a source code file active. And to do that, I click on it. So, so basically, this source code becomes the context for the next thing I'm going to do. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is hit the F1 button on my keyboard. Okay, um, I could, if I didn't remember that, um, get a context menu, which is a right click on Windows and probably a command click on Mac. And what I just did is I opened what's called the command palette. So I think it's easier to remember that that's an F1 key. If that's not easy for you, you can right click on this source code file and then go to command palette. <coughs> and then there is no keyboard shortcut for the next thing. What you want to do is open a shell. And to do that, I always just type the word open. And then we don't want to do either one of these. We want to open shell. Okay. And what happens is really a second console window that is more, um, that is not a console into a JavaScript environment, but a console into the Linux machine that sits behind that opens up. And um, there are really only a few, few commands you need here for this week. We may do some more advanced things in a later week, but right now um, you've just got a couple of things. If you sort of want to get um, oriented about what, where you are at the command line versus where you are seen in the UI, one of the things you can do is, is a directory command. And what you'll see is that you're in a folder called multi.js, okay, which is actually the name of the REPL. And inside that folder, you have three files, and that's the same three files that you see here. And if you want to run one of those files, so say I want to run sample one, all I do is type node sample1.js, okay? And the console logging that's in sample1.js is executed. Now, I don't have to have that file open when I get my console open. I'm just saying, um, I'm just telling the system here from the command line which file I want to run. So sample two, okay, that's different. Sample two is the best saved for last. Um, I can even, if I want to, node JS, node index.js, um, which is kind of meta because then you see the commands the um, instructions for how to open up this box from this box. Um, so generally what happens with me is I'll be over here making code changes. I'll hit run again. And then I have to remember that's not how I want to run the code I'm working on. This is how I want to run it. Um, so other things that are available to you, um, Linux has a clear command that gets rid of all that. This, um, this clears both windows, I'm pretty sure. So if I go node sample1.js and I hit this button, no, it only clears that. So if you want to clear this, if you want to get that clean, you can do that. So um, I will be asking you some to, um, to take screenshots that include some code and the output. And one thing you can do is change the size of this window. Um, bring it up here. I don't currently know if there's a way to flop those two, but um, you definitely can make this one bigger and smaller. And so if you're trying to do a screenshot where you've got a little bit of code here and you want to see the output over here, you may want to bring this window up. And that's really all you need for this week. We don't have any folders. Um, we aren't going to have any files. So you'll be, you'll basically be creating three REPLs, the first one will have two source code files, and then um, the next one I think has four because you're working from four Python REPLs. 
So I hope that's clear enough. Uh, be sure to ask me questions on Slack if you're having trouble with this, and we can easily hop on a screen share where we can work on this together.